All right, so it's been asked that I show my van. I figure it's easier than a bunch of photos because it's a work in progress. All right, it's nothing very special. It's like a 95 Astro van. The front is all disheveled right now because I've been going through stuff. My selection of automotive keys, a little step ladder in the back, tire change because it's winter, and grabbing coffee. I ran my battery dead working in here, so I got it hooked up to the battery charger. All right, we step inside. The shelf has all of my basic inventory, just general grade three stuff. Mostly I do residential. My commercial stuff is over here. I have a box of random tools and totes and screw guns and stuff. I'm still fairly new because, and I'm trying to figure out what I need actually and what I'm actually going to use. I have books here, my HPC card set, auto smart. I have fast facts in the front with my invoice book and such. Um, cheapy side mill cutter uh, duplicator I have yet to actually use but you know whatever I've got it on the bench everything is secured to the bench which is secured to the floor and the back wall some keys oh this guy um, this is a semi-automatic duplicator in here that I bought with this display I'm gonna replace my uh, mini speed X with that guy but I got to modify it so I can mount it to the bench my 1200 um, this holds a surprising amount of inventory yes it jingles yes it's heavy it is secured to the shelf which is secured to the van because I cannot find a bulkhead for this van anywhere um, so I built a fairly substantial shelf out of three-quarter plywood and drive like my life depends on it. Uh, extra keys are in here. My GAX. A bunch of mailbox keys that I don't know. They're not identified. They don't have any decent markings that came with this setup. Uh, all of the extra inventory that I have for that stuff. Rubber bands, because when I bought this, it fell over, and that's a lot of freaking keys to pick up and sort and re-inventory. Now, the workbench, I can shut this guy. Bam. Tinted windows so nobody cares. I can get away from the customer. Little tiny bench vise. Uh, I think I've only ever used it a couple of times. Regular phone pinning mat. The most important addition to the pinning mat is coffee. Screwdrivers, pliers, etc. Pinning kit. Uh, this is the super wedge. I have the smaller one in there for uh, taking on jobs. This is my lockout bag. Underneath my bench, I have my automotive lockout tools, broom, dustpan, and little hand broom. Uh, under the door tool, long reach tool. Uh, this all back here, this heater is temporary. I've got a uh, 15 amp AC bulkhead plug uh, that I'm going to run and use to charge the deep cycle battery to run my inverter when I get it installed. Scrap, old hardware, uh, bits and pieces, uh, fasteners and such. This is mostly empty, but I've got my bamboo skewers for screw holes, trash bucket for scrap metal, trash trash. Uh, this is a box full of like hand tools, uh, rivet gun, rivets, that kind of stuff. Uh, some other miscellaneous small tools that I need to go through. Um, this whole area, let's get back here, is going to be pulled out. I've got a big toolbox coming. This is going to go on top of it, and all of this stuff is going to get pulled out and rearranged. 
fan because it does get hot in here. Um, a little bit of I hung these bungee cords up here to hang some longer stuff. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Um, it's not much. I have a lot of stuff in here. Uh, and most of it I don't use. I've only been in business about a year and a half at this point. Um, but I have yet, I think I'm situated well enough that I'm going to be able to take care of most everything that I need. Um, anyway, yeah, flashlights, little flashlights all over the place. Um, yeah, little set of pinning tweezers, followers, tape measure, of course, all that. Little pinning tray, stamps. Uh, for the stamp block, I have this guy that I found. Um, it's pretty solid. It works pretty good. Uh, I just slap them up there when I'm ready to use them. Keep them on the floor just in case it becomes uh, a piece of flying debris and decides to slide. Uh, it's heavy enough that at least it's going to stay on the floor. Um, yeah, it's kind of a mess. It's an older rig. It's been taken care of. Uh, uh, installed lights. These are all 12-volt lights that I hacked onto the dome light switch so the dome light doesn't work but it lights up the back pretty well um yeah aside from that uh not sure what else to report um i have a deep cycle battery to install uh battery isolator will go in in the future to charge the battery while i'm driving but for now i think i'm gonna uh, just install it with the little battery charger connected to my bulkhead plug on the outside of the van so that I can plug it in at night when I'm not using it, keep that battery topped off. Um, and uh, rags, bags, uh, tool bag, little pouch for grabbing up doorknobs and deadbolts, doing rekeys, basic, basic socket set, uh, box full of drills and whatnots. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff I'll figure out that I need and plenty of stuff that I need to take out of here. Um, little chair. I was using one of those, uh, totes with a lid, but it took up too much space in here, and this little camping chair seems to work pretty well. I can sit up straight. Um, I m might move this bench down a little bit because it's hard to see. The, the cards on here and it's hard for me to follow along when I'm duplicating um, lots of brass shavings just for your pleasure or displeasure uh, I got a little Dremel tool back there somewhere um, yeah nothing fancy but she does lubricants, cleaners, glue hacksaw blades uh, some extra vice grips in there, extra tape measure, uh, some crappy flathead screwdrivers or uh, cheap pry bars, depending on the need. Um, yeah, anyway, that's all I got for this. Uh, seems to work out pretty well.